What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm going to be playing a game called Skywatching. This is apparently a game based on the Local 58. I think that's what it's called. Creepy pasta thing. I don't know. And all I'm doing here is just watching the sky. That's Jupiter. You know what's really cool is I've actually seen this exact image with my very eyes. My brother has like a kind of cheap $150 telescope that we bought at a casino of all places. And we used to always stargaze and like look at the moon up close. It was very cool. But one day we saw Jupiter out and we looked through the telescope and basically this is exactly what we saw. It was a little bit smaller, but I could see the red band around it. And I could even see a couple of its moons that were like just little tiny dots kind of floating next to it. To this day, I still maintain that it's one of the most amazing sights I've ever seen with my very eyes. All right, so I can't go any further to the left. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit. I wanna explore this sky to the fullest extent that I possibly can. And it seems like that's about as far as it'll let me go. So let's go over to the right a little bit and see what else is waiting for us here. I don't wanna get to the meaty end of it because I believe I have to look at the moon in order to reach the actual end, which I don't really wanna do right away. I want to explore a little bit more of this sky. Oh. Here we go, we got a nice cluster, Pleiades. At least that's how I think it's pronounced. That's very cool. Let's go up and to the right a little bit. Oh, that's as far as I can go to the right. So let's move it to the center, I think. I don't know if I'm looking at this through a camera or through a telescope, but either way, it's cool. I'm super into space astronomy. I never got too deep into it and learned very much about it, but I know a small deal. All right, there's Jupiter again. So is there anything else I could see here? I'm just gonna keep averting my eyes through this, I guess. This is supposed to be a very short game. Aha, Andromeda Galaxy. Pretty remarkable that I could see it in all its glory just like that. Oh, what are you gonna do? Either way, it's very cool. All right, what next? What else is around here? I feel like I've searched as much as I can through this. I could be very wrong. Let's maybe tweak it a little bit this way. This is exactly what I did before and I didn't see anything though. Again, I think I'm supposed to find the moon. At least the screenshots looked like a moon was visible. Huh. Having a bit of a hard time finding it though. I don't know if there's any way I could change the sky or the area of the sky that I'm looking at. I'm just gonna kind of navigate up and down and then shift to the right slightly in hopes of finding something different. As of right now, this is definitely like the most simplistic game I've played in a long time, but for some reason it's still very encapsulating. Does that make sense, what I just said? There's Pleiades again. Let's maybe try dropping it down from there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing anything different, I'm just enamored with the sight that I'm seeing right now. Uh, this is as far to the right as I can move it. Am I doing something wrong here? Am I supposed to be doing something else? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Pressing X. Do I have to take a picture of these things? X. No. Okay. Z. I just press Z and something different is... Oh. I'm zooming in on it. Oh. Well, that's nice. What happens if I press Z again? Oh. X. I see. X will move it out. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot brighter than I remember. So now that I know about these new mechanics, let's maybe try to find um, Andromeda again so I can get a closer look. I don't fully remember where it was. I'm just... Aha! Here we go. There you are, Andromeda. Let's zoom in on that. Oh. Very bright. Very, very bright. And very pixelated. It's kind of hard to see. What's going on there? All right, let's move it back and let's go check out Jupiter. Again, I haven't seen the moon at all, so I don't know if that's even a possibility. But the screenshots were showing the moon. I'm gonna bring it up. I think Jupiter is higher up. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Let's zoom in on you, Jupe. Blam. Okay, there's Jupiter. There's the giant red spot. Can I... I can't seem to move out of the frame of Jupiter, so let's zoom back out. I think that's everything that I can find here. I don't know where the moon is. Maybe bring it down here in the middle. Have I done this yet? Aha, there you are. 
her shell. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a very cryptic thing to say. Let's zoom in on that. Okay, very bright. Oh, there's a UFO over there. <laughs> okay, can I zoom in on that any further? Doesn't look like it. Am I supposed to be doing anything else? Is there anything else I can do? I'm just pressing all these buttons right now. Doesn't seem like I can do anything else. Let's zoom out again. Yeah, there goes the moon. At least I found it, but I don't know what else to do with this information. I'm gonna bring it up again. Maybe I gotta zoom in again. Can I zoom in any further? That UFO is oddly suspicious, my guy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, man. What's going on? Oh, the fleet. Can I zoom in on that? Yes, I can. Ooh, super bright, super bright. Oh yeah, there we go. Plenty of aliens there. Oh, the holy corpse. Is there anything else on the moon before I do that? I feel like there might be. Nah, nothing. Let's zoom in a little bit on this and see what's going on here. The holy corpse, Z. It's super... Oh, God. Do not make them wait. Well, what do, you, what do you want me to do, then? What am I... That was it. Very cool. It's definitely like less of a horror experience and more of a sci-fi kind of mystery thing. And I can definitely clearly see the influence of Local 58 TV. If whoever's watching this doesn't know what that's all about, I'll leave a link to Nexpo's video on the subject. In his video, he details a lot of like intricacies about the Local 58 kind of series, which is a really interesting spooky series of videos based on the ideology of, I guess, the moon coming to life and taking over people's minds, something to that effect. I really liked this. This was very cool and it definitely fits exactly what I like. As I was saying, I am very into astronomy. I have been for years and years. My brother was the one who got me into it. And we used to stargaze a lot back in the day. And like I said, look at the moon through the telescope that he had. Try to look at other like planets and stars just out there that if we could possibly try and see anything, it was an awesome experience for us. And even still, I mean, with this camera that I'm using right now, I've actually captured like really, really good images of the moon. I'll leave like a screenshot somewhere over here. I also took a couple of videos that are a bit shaky because I didn't have a good tripod, but the camera that I have now has a 1500 times digital zoom. So it's not the clearest image, but the images that I got were really, really cool nonetheless. But yeah, this was sky watching. It was very slow paced and wasn't like action packed or anything. So if you're looking for a game like that, this isn't the game for you. This is more of just like an atmospheric kind Kind of horror piece and i really enjoyed it if you guys want to try this out for yourselves i'll leave a link down below in the description for you but otherwise that's going to be it for me here today thanks everyone for watching be sure to hit that like button down below if you liked it and feel free to leave me a comment as well i love hearing any and all thoughts that you guys have please leave me a comment and if you enjoy the videos that i'm making on this channel and you want to catch a new one every single day of the week i would love it if you hit that subscribe button for me thanks again for watching everyone and i can't wait to see you all in the next video take it easy